those of you that don't know, we're coming to Premier Performance. Uh, it's in Utah if anybody needs any Premier oriented stuff, which is a lot of uh, performance based, new edge, new model stuff. Um, this is the place to come, walk through, get back to the truck. So here we are, this is the truck I've been talking about. It's a 2014 F-150 uh, STX. Kind of a, more of a base model truck. Not in the extended cabs, you couldn't really get too much in this, these years. But uh, yeah, the project here is four wheel drive, a coyote engine. This one we've actually already done uh, Gen 2 engine it's got a 2018 truck manifold on it um, it's basically a bone stock 2015 f-150 engine we've done oil pump gear and then a custom turbo kit can't really see too much here some schedule 10 tubular manifolds show you a little bit more on the bottom there Got a 88 millimeter on three turbo. It's got a billet wheel, nothing too fancy, but should get us what we want. So today our goal is to build a four inch downpipe. We don't really have a lot of room to do it, but I'd like to keep a full exhaust on this truck. Usually we just do like a hood stack or a fender stack or you know something not that difficult to get all the way out of the truck, but today, this one I'm gonna try and drive a little bit more on the street so we're trying to build a four inch downpipe fish it through all that stuff and hopefully in the end be able to run a four inch exhaust all the way out the back Got that downpipe all figured out. I uh, got it coated a little bit. Got it tucked back in there. I think this may be the final time. If you can see it very well, tucks back down. Then we got a V band right there, so we can get it from the other side. And in through the fender, you can see it clears everything nicely. I haven't showed you much of Kyle's truck yet, but he's been building it on his own while we did the cyclone on the weekends and his is turning out freaking awesome. His gigantic four inch exhaust that comes fits around everything. It's tight, but it works. It's tight, but it turned out really, really good. Another fun fact is we're running the same exact turbo, an 88 on a 5 liter. 5 liter will spool it. Yep, and uh, it's crossing. Looks good. Done a really good job, yep. It's really good. I had a hard time lowering this truck because it's a 14 and they don't really have a lowering kit for it. So I did a two wheel drive kit and had to just modify everything put 13 control arms on it so I could mount the strut. This is a lot of work that I probably should have filmed. <laughs> have Gen some 2 more. motor in it, Gen 2 Coyote, with boss cams and boss valve springs and a few things. It had a Gen 1 Coyote in it? Yep, it was a, yeah, so just 2014. It just, yeah. Motor. <laughs> Now and then you, you changed Gen it. Stuff. You changed it. Why? The Gen 2 stuff has boss rods. 
and will hold a lot more power. It's pretty well documented. Oh, I did oil pump gears, which I was against at first until I had a coyote swapped Fox body that I broke remember that. oil pump gears at the track and almost cost me a motor. At, so. the, <laughs> at the very end of the track at 145 miles an hour. And <laughs> not only did it almost cost you a motor, but it almost crashed the crap out of you. <laughs> See, his is actually a nice street truck. <laughs> nice new drive it every day truck. I mean, the cyclone's gonna be like that. Yeah. Probably. Now that it's LS. But, <laughs> but you know what I mean? He's got AC and everything. Or did at one point. Do you still? <laughs> it's all charged and ready to go. Yep. All nice. Cruise control. The only difference that we were laughing about is a slight size difference. I don't know if you can see it. You can pretty much put the cycle in the yes, back. it's so teeny compared to his F-150. It ran, it started. So I, uh, I don't have anything on it right now, the piping. But before with the three inch charge piping, it would only stall to like 3,100 RPM under vacuum. When I'd initially get on the transmit. And? Just then it went up to 3600 without even trying. So once I get my big piping on there, that should help. They say bigger is always better, but this car is true, and that's not the truth. <laughs> that is not <laughs> the truth. It's definitely the slowest big turbo car around, I think. You're coming to Tucson, aren't you, Evan? Oh, absolutely. Yes. I gotta, I gotta whip on some red tie butt. Well, <laughs> we gotta. I'll tell you how this goes. First place. Second place. Third place. <laughs> as long as you're in the truck class, you've got a chance. What are you working on? Just uh, trying to get my on it. Quit throwing crap where I'm going to step. Travis is just tripping over everything. There's a lot of stuff, tripping, to boy. There's a lot of stuff to tripping on. Okay. It is amazing. How Give us the update. Like your turbo is. It's ridiculous. It's so big. <laughs> so this is the new radiator? This is the new radiator. Not uh, like yeah. the old <laughs> radiator? That is the old. Is that off of like an ATV or something? That is a Honda Civic radiator. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. It works good for the single pass action. You know, it really wasn't bad for being at the track, making a pass, letting it cool down for like even only 10, 15 minutes, yeah. it'd be fine. But hotter days is a little worse, but. I want to be able to drive it a little bit more. Yeah, true street car. Yeah, well, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. I'm going to put carpet back in it in the passenger seat eventually. That okay, is, there you go. Pretty, it looks more race car than it really It's is. pretty race car-y. It looks faster than it is. Uh, it's pretty fast. <laughs> and then yours is an actual stroker motor. It is a 408 and a 408. With fancy pads and stuff. Yeah, I spent so much money that I shouldn't have. Evan's fancy. <laughs> He's, He's pretty fancy. fancy. Evan has Oreos and pizza. And ice cream, I forgot. It's <laughs> like a little bit of Like your mini desk with your mini chair, was that on purpose? No. Oh. It just worked My out. My chair is broken and brought me to the table and was in the engine room. It's just not worked out. That I to the test fit. I'm not following. Fit and finish on point. Yeah. It'll be made to work. That looks good. Got her fired up? Yeah, we're gonna do a transmake test right now. See oh. What, <laughs> see what it does on the uh, APA. See what it does.
don't lose way faster. Yeah, it's working. Like normally, I would say that got right up. Right in it. Woo! <laughs> like that 